G'day, it's Pete here and I'm back for a free day-long tournament. This is an 8-board BBO tournament that's played by over 10,000 people. Uh, if you want to join, all you have to do is click competitive, then free day-long tournament. But we might not play the same hands, but we can compare in our friendship group who actually did well. So if you want to get join that group, add me as a friend, Slink2, S-L-I-Y-N-K-2. Post in the comments that you've done it with your BBO username. Anyway, let's jump straight in and see what we can actually do. So three hearts from my partner, and I have a 19 count. So the question is, is four hearts going to be good or three no trumps? And my gut reaction here is four hearts. We probably have a heart fit. And as long as we don't have four losers between hearts and spades, we're okay. I don't think we're realistically making slam. I think we're probably going to go down in four hearts more often than anything else. But uh, we'll give four hearts a shot. Wow! I was going to say more often than we go down. Like, I reckon we'd go down more often than we'd make slam, but here's a hand where we might make it. But, um, yeah. Okay, so club lead, and... So a couple options. I could take a heart finesse, or I can just go heart to the ace king. And I think heart to the ace king is way better. Uh, firstly, it gives me a chance to throw away my spade if whatever happens. Secondly, I can't actually get to the north hand if I don't overtake the heart. Um, so my general plan here, win the ace of clubs, heart to the ace king. See if the queen drops. If it does, draw the last drop. If not, diamond, 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 throw away a spade. And then hopefully another diamond and set up the diamonds and be able to throw my club away eventually. If hearts are 4-1, I'll need to revisit this plan a little bit. But uh, Okay, jack to the... Uh, yeah, they just... Covered it. I guess it didn't matter. They had uh, Queen Doubleton. Um, so everything would have worked. And we get the lot. Diamonds broke. And that would be plus three. Um, do I think that's a good score? Probably not. Some people will be uh, bidding slam with this hand, which I think is ridiculous. Uh, other people might try three no trumps, which has the same number of tricks. We've got seven hearts, five diamonds, and two clubs. Uh, assuming that the opponents don't get in there with spades, which the robots being passive probably won't. So I'm not optimistic about this score. Probably about 45 or 40% or something like that. Board number two. So here we've got... 15 highs, 5 4 in the blacks. Um, so, this is just like a preemptive raise, like usually 5 card support, quite a weak hand. Um, I don't think that for, like, anything more is good. Like, I can't visualize a hand where that would happen. I'd need like Ace, Fifth, Spade, King of Diamonds, Singleton, Club, and I wouldn't be bidding 4 spades. <laughs> Ace, fifth, spade, singleton, club, king of diamonds. Yeah. <laughs> My partner just has the nuts every time. Like, I think this is, like, okay for a, a four spade bid, follow against not, but definitely top end. And we're still not making slam necessarily just yet. So I've got three club losers and two diamond losers. I need to try and trump some of my clubs or set up some diamonds. If I draw trumps, I'm putting all my eggs into the uh, set-up diamonds basket. And I can probably throw two, di two clubs away. So I think I only need to rough one club. Which means that assuming trumps break 2-2 two, two, or 3-1, well, we'll be okay there. Um, yep. So let's do that. We also have to work out how we want to play the um, diamond suit. We're missing the ace and the jack. Uh, I can't pick up any 4-0 spade break, so it doesn't matter really what I do. But in general, I think I want to just lead a low diamond towards the queen and a diamond back towards the 10. So I want to draw trumps ending in the north hand. And if they're 3-1, I can go queen of spades, spade to the ace. If they're 2-2, two, two, I can go queen of spades, ace of clubs, rough a club, diamond up. They can then make me rough another club, which would be bad. So I don't want to do that if they're 2-2. So if spades are 2-2, two, two, 
And then I think I just lead out the Queen of Diamonds, give up the two stiff. Uh, okay, give up two stiff Ace of Diamonds. So if I go Ace of Clubs, Club Rough, Diamond to the Queen, and it loses, they make me rough another club. And I'm out there, so I can't afford to do that. Have to maintain control. So basically, I'm just playing West for the uh, Jack of Diamonds. Which worked, and we get the rest of the tricks. So, another hand under bid partner had the perfect one. How do I feel about this one? Uh, a little bit better. Some people won't take all the tricks. If they go about roughing clubs, then the opponents can actually get a trump promotion. So, I did take a good amount of tricks. Also, some people won't finesse the Jack of Diamonds. So for that, I think this one will be above average board, but some people might investigate Slam and then make it. So I'm going about 55 for that one. Move on to board number three. Um, 15 count, 5, 4, 3, 1. Start with one club. And just rear open with a double. Well, it, it depends. Like, I, I need to know if my partner's double would be penalties here. Um, usually I'd play one club, four spades, pass, pass, double. I've got a good hand, what do you want to do? Leave it in, bid on, whatever. Do what you want. Here the opponents are vulnerable against not. I don't think double here is a strict penalty double, but I'm going to make it anyway. My partner will pass because the description looks like it's a... Um, Pretty strict penalty double, two plus spades. Now my partner led the ace of clubs, which looks really good for me, but uh, I actually want them to switch to a heart. So I want to play, the robots play high in courage, so I'm going to discourage here. Ace jack to six clubs, my partner never took a bid. So this won't score well. Okay, um, so West has eight spades, zero, eight spades, and no, eight spades, no clubs, so they've got five red suit cards, so I need to kind of guess their distribution. Partner pitched a heart. Okay, diamond to the king, and my partner put on the eight. I reckon diamonds are probably 2-2, two, two, so let's duck the first one. Win the second, come out of club, and now I think they have to pull a heart up, which allows me to get my two heart tricks to hold it to just making. I think we make five clubs. Uh, will that one be a good score? No, <laughs> obviously not. Um, five clubs does that make? We lose a diamond trick, a heart, and a spade. So this is why I don't think double or four spades being strictly penalties is a good idea. It just should say I have a good hand. Like here I've got a good hand and I want to encourage my partner to bid if they think they can make something. Otherwise just pass it out. Here having six card club suit probably suggests maybe we should bid on. We might make that. Um, but we have a diamond, a spade, and a deep heart loser. So um, we go one down, but they are cold for four spades, so it's a good sacrifice. However, if my partner had a hand more like East's hand, then defending four spades doubled would be a much better proposition. Um, so that's why I think you need double to be more flexible. Um, I like my double. Uh, managed to do well to hold it to ten tricks. Some people might let it make 11 and double it, so I'm going to go about 13%, an optimistic 13%, but that's what I think about that one. Board number four, so this time we've got an 18 count, one heart past two hearts, so my partner's got very little, so I could, two options, I could make a takeout double, hoping that they bid spades, or at least don't bid them clubs. 
Two no trumps is probably for the miners, and at least that's how I'd actually play it there. So I don't want to bid two no trumps natural. Other option, I could just pass here. And I feel like I've got a good defensive hand. Double can get me into trouble, so I'm just going to pass, try and defend here. Ten of diamonds, so let's just... Alright, partner's got five diamonds. West has a singleton diamond and now playing on clubs. Queen. Alright. Um, at this stage, I can actually get control here. I just want to force them to rough. Okay, West is rough twice now. Um, so if I trump in and draw the last trump, if my partner can get in at all, then uh, their diamonds are all winners. And at the very least, yeah. so making two. And partner had spades. This is rather unfortunate because we might even make four spades. We lose two clubs and a spade. So I guess I should have doubled. Happened that partner would have had spades here and probably would have bid them, uh, which is a nuisance. But they're cold for two hearts. So again, another bad one. Here I thought we had good chances of beating two hearts, and I didn't like if my partner happens to bid three clubs, this hand will go really poorly for us. So I felt like I shouldn't double. I I do think it's close. Having a fourth heart, if you took away my fourth heart and gave me a club, then I would um, double and try and compete. But here with four card hearts, I know my partner's got a singleton heart. I know they don't have very many points. And I just want them to try and uh, compete and... Oh, I, I just don't want them to bid three of a minor. So I, I feel like pass is a decent option. Um, obviously, didn't work out well this time. I didn't think we had a good chance of being able to make a uh, game. Um, but... My partner had four spades, which really, like, if we don't have a spade fit on this hand, if I start doubling them, we're going to get ourselves into trouble. So things aren't, they're not, like, I'm happy with every decision that I've made here. This one being the most dubious of them, but nothing has particularly worked out so well for me just yet. So hopefully, like, our luck will change and see how we go. 13... Count six four. So I'll start with one spade. And here I, I think that's really important. I see lots of people go, oh I've got six spades, I want to just rebid those. I think it's really important to try and show your other suit. Your partner can still prop you back to spades whenever that's right. So not interested in opposite that sort of bidding. But lots of times you'll have a diamond fit or partner might want to bid two hearts or other things like that where if you just bid two spades, you've uh, removed that option. Alright, uh, so i got three heart losers, I've got two diamond losers, I have a spade loser. I want to try and trump one of my losers, or take a finesse. Okay, now they switch to hearts. Alright. Um, my diamond's standing up at the moment. So I'm thinking of catching the diamond and then trying to trump my diamond. Benefit of this is if I lead a low diamond and rough, then I might uh, cause myself some grief elsewhere. And also, I didn't want to throw my heart away. Because I still have two heart losers, even if I um, throw it away. Because, like, I wouldn't be able to lead hearts. Being able to lead hearts from the other hand is actually beneficial, because I knew East had the uh, ace there. So, making nine tricks. I'm happy with this one. I 
don't think I could have made more tricks. The robots could have held me to less, in fact. Um, so they found the right lead. They can hold me to two. Um, and East cashed the King of Hearts, which was a poor choice in the end. Um, but, yeah. So, if I had roughed a diamond before playing the Jack and let a heart up, then what could happen is they could win and potentially just give their partner, let their partner cheaply trump the diamond, uh, which I think would have all worked out the same. And I might have need, needed to play that line of play um, at this stage. So if I yeah, have to lead a low diamond at this stage, um, because East has the king of diamonds and the third, and only three diamonds. But if there was a slightly different layout, I would have had to do it elsewise. Um, but uh, nine tricks, uh, pretty happy with that one. Decent score. Finally, uh, let's go 65 to 75% chance for that. Happy with that one. Let's see what we can do now. Board number six. So here we've got a 13 count with really good spades. East opened. I'm just going to jam them up with four spades. Usually, like... I wouldn't open this four spades, but when the opponent's open, I don't think my chances of um, game uh, of slam are very good at all. So I decided against that. And now we got the two of hearts lead, which looks like either a singleton or East has a singleton. My partner has a very garbage hand for me. So, two of hearts to the ace, and now a diamond switch. Okay. Um, so, my options here, lead a heart and let them trump if they want, but then they can sort of trump a bunch. So I don't want to do that. Um... Which is going to get... I'll have a heart loser. So I just want to get back to my hand. So let's cut the communication. Diamonds is their best suit of communication. So let's... Uh, trump there. See how the spades break? They break. Okay, good. Now, my only real chance of making at this stage is if East has really good clubs and is actually squeezed. So... Alright, so... No one's thrown much away. Um, I do know hearts are 3-1. I can try exiting a club and hoping that the person with, with the ace of clubs has three hearts, but I think that's too ambitious. I haven't seen enough club honors. Doesn't look like the squeeze is working, so I'm just going to cash my king of hearts and exit a heart. Yeah, so if I exit a club, ace just overtakes and caches all those tricks. So how good was the four spades? Uh, not great. Uh, East-West don't really make anything because my partner's got a void spade. They might make something from the West hand where my partner's on lead. Um, but that's not realistically going to happen and I don't think they really make much. Four spades down one seems like a bad score. So happy with my choice there. Came close to potentially making it if West had the Ace of Clubs instead then I could have made it. Um, uh, if they don't unblock, obviously. But at this stage, if Wes swapped that for the Ace of Clubs, I could potentially exit a club and, and play them. Um, or if the other player had the three hearts, I could end play it either player. Uh, from the two of hearts, I knew they were breaking 3-1. So it was my only real chance, but I was fairly sure that wasn't happening after the discards that they made. Board number seven, five, four, three, one, twelve count. 
start with one spade and bid two hearts and then I'll support my partner's diamonds and I've got to round out my shape here and they're not interested. 6-5 in the minors well the communication on this hand is dreadful if I put in the ace of hearts that's the last time I'm getting to my hand and at best I've got six diamonds, a heart and a spade so it really looks like I need to stick in the jack of hearts and now they're going to switch to clubs right hmm huh. um I've only got two guaranteed club losers at this stage, so let's just unblock the ace of spades. And just wondering if I want to if I cash all my diamonds. So a couple of choices. Do I want to cash all my diamonds or I want to cash one more diamond? Then what sort of uh, things do I have to do? So I'd have to find three discards on the diamonds if I cashed all my diamonds, which would be easy. Two spades and a heart. Then I'd exit a club and I'd have to find another one, which could be my other heart. And then they can play another club, which now I have to throw a winner away. Um, but at that stage I should probably have the rest. Um... If instead I exit with a club now, they can play another diamond, and I mean, continually exiting clubs from this hand seems quite awkward. So I think it is better to cash all my diamonds. It's going to make it more awkward for the opponents. Doesn't matter which one I do. And now I got the rest. Ten tricks. But this, this one should be a, a quite a good score. Um, some people will go astray on this one. Um, let's just have a quick look at where I was at. Um, also, they let me make an over trick here. So if you hop up with the ace, you, you're doomed. Um, King of Clubs, and now a Diamond. So at this stage, if I exit with a club now, I go down. So I can cash my ace of spades, queen of diamonds. And now I can actually exit a club and still make, but um, cashing all my diamonds worked out well. So another good board there, starting to bring my average up a bit. Last board, let's see what we can do. 14 count, 4 triple 3, I'll just open a club. Um, bit of spade. Huh. Not, not the auction I was expecting. Uh, I could consider competing to two hearts. Seems strange, I didn't know what the uh, next opponent would do over that. Okay, so low spade to the nine and ace. So my partner's got jack ten nine of spades, ace does a doubleton. So my partner's got three spades, four hearts. I suspect ace does five clubs, so I think my partner's got a singleton club. So a three, five, four, one shape. Rose are actually going to make quite a few tricks here. Let go of diamonds. So my partner might have five diamonds. East has ace, queen, and clubs. And they finessed the jack straight up, which is just a bizarre play. Uh, 
Um, diamond. Okay, so my partner only had four hearts, so they got the five diamonds. Um, so, rough. And so I've got the rest of the tricks. Making nine, so <laughs> passing this in seems poor. Um, my partner not competing over two clubs seems awkward. So if we got to two hearts, that plays okay, I think. Um, but let's check the provisional results. I'm expecting 45%. 41. <laughs> okay. Uh, so 32% for just bidding four hearts and making all the tricks, which I think is the normal spot. Then 74% for four spades making 12. That I thought was generous because some people might have investigated more, but... Uh, then again, I did manage to pick the diamonds, play it well, so I got rewarded there. 27% for four spades doubled was good. Um, happy with my double, didn't work out this time. I would like it if the robots would be able to actually compete over that. And then 38% for uh, two hearts, making two. It was right to double this time, but if partner had the minors, it would have got worked out quite poorly. Then... 76% for two spades plus one, and 11% for just bidding four spades and going down one. Wow, that that seems so strange to me. It just seems normal to get to four spades. Um, I guess some people just bid one spade and the auction just dies out there. But like four spades seems such a practical bid, and it's kind of unlucky to go down. But 11%, that... That's harsh. And 44% for 3 no plus 1. I thought this one was going to be a good one. Ouch. And then finally, 28% for 2 clubs uh, plus 1. Again, opening the hand seems normal. Bidding my spade seems normal. I'm like, should I compete with my 4 triple threat? It feels like it should be up to my partner to try and compete there. Like maybe reopen with a double or something. But 41% all in all. Um, that, that was a harsh one. I don't disagree with any of my decisions, really. I think they were reasonable. There were some borderline decisions. But uh, overall, generally happy with how I was actually playing. So that was the uh, free day-long tournament. Let's check out someone who actually did reasonably well, and we'll check out our friendship group. So if you wanted to join that, just add me as a friend, Slink2, S-L-I-Y-N-K-2. And post in the comments with your BBO name and that you've done it, and I'll add you back. Anyway, uh, we'll check out how, where I actually placed and how everyone else did. So the results are in, and I finished in 8,216th. Not my, not my best effort, but let's see who actually did well. And the winner was Kellen in 142nd with 73.5%. Rounding out the top 1,000 was Joe Zero with 312 Sun Slayer in 531st, the the Mitch in 575th, F Cole Snick in 604th, Now 7 in 670th. So well done to all you. Uh, and as always, if you wanted to uh, join the friendship group, all you want to do is add me as a friend, Slink2. Post in the comments that you've done that, and I'll add you back. Anyway, let's do a quick review of these hands again. So uh, this one, four hearts, plus three, 33%. Uh, lots of people in three no trumps and a few people in six, uh, six hearts. I don't really like three no trumps here because if your partner's suit isn't running straight off the top, then we won't have any entries. Like if that queen of hearts doesn't drop, exact same hand, right? We get two heart tricks. That's all we get. And we get two hearts, three diamonds, and two clubs. So you could be going down in uh, four, in three no trumps when uh, four hearts still makes 11 tricks. So uh, I don't like that bid, but it paid off today. Then four spades plus two, 74%. Only a few people bid six spades, but uh, lots of people making four, five, uh, like 10, 11, or 12 tricks. And four spades doubled, 27%. So obviously I wasn't alone, um, and some people make doubling it, plus two, plus one, and then lots of people just not doubling it. 
Some people did get to five clubs by... Whoa! <laughs> That's a brave bid. Just coming back in there with five clubs. And I don't like it. Like, maybe four no trumps? Yeah, if you bid... Okay. Black went for clubs. The robots really don't want you to be able to get in there. But five diamonds down 11. Scores better than four spades making, so well done. <laughs> Uh, I bet like they were just outraged when they saw it get passed and they're like, that's it, I'm just dropping it. 86%? Alright, I'll keep playing the tournament then. <laughs> uh, then two hearts. This one was like a tricky decision. I feel like when we have a spade fit, it's right to come in and double. When we don't have a spade fit though, and partner bids to a minor, it's a bit dubious. I also thought we had a good chance of trying to beat this. So I was really aiming for plus 100, maybe 200 on a good day where... Three diamonds, two hearts, and a spade is down one off the top. And maybe we get one other trick somewhere else from my partner. Uh, but not to be. Um, so, some people came in and bid two spades. Don't like that. Some people beat this. How did they beat it? So let's just have a quick look. Diamond lead, and they put the ace on it. King, roughed. Heart to the king. And then the robot plays a heart out. Okay, so the robot just chose to play it some different way for whatever reason. Um, and then a bunch of people in three diamonds. So if you do make a take-up double, partner bids three diamonds, um, which still scores you okay. Um, three di like If you swapped the miners around, three clubs would be disastrous. So, yeah. like You can see that it's not without risk. Still, I think it's okay, but uh, close. Two spades plus one, seventy-six percent. Uh, some people bid and made four spades, but lots of people in four spades down a bunch by just jumping to three spades. I think this is a really aggressive approach here. Um, when I can just bid two diamonds, find out a bit more, and then I just had enough. When partner just preference back to spades. Uh, four spades down one, twelve percent. Okay, so lots of people just bidding one spade, and some people even making four spades. Did I miss something? So heart lead to the jack and ace, which gave up any chance of any finesse or anything. Diamond, and now a club switch, and a club, which they roughed. And they ran all their stuff, uh, and actually squeeze west. So what was a bit different here was their partner... Uh, won the ace of diamonds and switched. So ace of hearts, ten of diamonds. They put the jack on it, which got them to win ace and not return it. The jack of diamonds was probably a good play because it does set up a finesse position there that I I wasn't thinking about. So this one, good play that I actually uh, missed there. Then three no, plus one, forty three percent. I thought this would be a good board, but most people twelve tricks. How? So, spade, two hearts, and then their partners, they bid three no rather than showing their three card support. Okay. Um, I didn't even consider not showing three card support. I think it's like crazy not to round out your shape. You could still be making six diamonds on hands like this. Um, wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And then finally, 28% for defending two clubs. Uh, some people pass one heart. I think this is something uh, reasonable to consider as well. I gave a brief thought, but uh, here with a 14 count, we can still be making game in certain times, so I think it's worth bidding one spade. Other times, people bid one no trump, and the robots play in two spades. I, was, I don't know why West would correct that to two spades there. That seems really, really strange. And other people opened a diamond, which got them to two diamonds. Um, but yeah, overall, like, I, I scored really poorly in this one, but I don't think I made any bad decisions. Maybe it was, like, marginal decisions, but I think they were about really close. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this free day-long tournament, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.